Hey, what's up guys? Dennis here from the Prime Traders Education and Community Hub. And what we're going to be going over is a general video for the London watch list. Now, let's start with what's going on. First of all, we're trading the London session for the 4th of March 2020. Uh, we got one really solid trade going. We had the take profit overnight on GBP CAD buy. There was a take profit right there at 50%. Now, for the news, let's start with the news. The news, the first thing we get is Euro services PMIs. They are uh, listed as yellow on the economic calendar, so I don't think they're gonna be much of an impact, but if there is big movement on, on the PMI, on the services sector, maybe due to coronavirus, we could see weakness of the Euro or strength, depending on how it comes out. Uh, after that, we have the US service P, uh, UK service PMI. And during the London session, the biggest news is the ADP non-farm payrolls. But before we end with the news, it's really important to note that Australia's economy is doing better in December's quarter, but the troubles are ahead. Now, we could have some more AUD bulls, and actually the trade of the session is AUD CAD buy, and let's go over that together right now. AUD CAD. So I wrapped up with the news. Let's move into the technicals. There is our trade here. This was released to the community. Uh, we're looking at a really solid uh, risk reward of 2 plus, yeah, 2.1, which is solid. I gave myself room to breathe just in case the, this resistance doesn't break on the four hour. Overall, we have a major resistance level right here, which basically was tested only once over here on the 11th, 19th of February and price action took a strong dive to the downside since then. This is the first retest we're witnessing of this major level since the breakout basically um, i'm long it's looking solid it's looking good uh, one hour ten minutes four hours they all indicate bulls but we don't know when they're going to come we are in this trade because uh, price action broke this level here you see this black level on the left we broke and retested it just now we also retested the stop on that breakout so let's see how things work out it should be a decent trade we have good growth in Australia. We have solid monetary policy um, backed by strong bullish momentum. And I think AUDCAD has the potential to break this resistance at 88.4.30. So it's looking good. The pattern we have is a bullish continuation. And I think we can continue to the upside. As for the other possible trades, what we have going is AUDNZD with a possible sell. Oh, where are you? There you are. I'll just go over the four hour chart. There it is. We have a very important resistance level. We broke above it based on the news and we're basically testing the contraction right now. Um, should be a really interesting time to trade these pairs because every, of everything going on in China. Um, I don't know how this contraction would look, but on the one hour, I'm going to try and pin it together like this and say that maybe there was a retest of this level. So the AUD NZD could drop back down. Um, I'm not in this trade. There's a few resistance levels. Um, I'm, I'm exposed pretty big right now, so I don't want to overdo it. The other possible trade is GBP AUD with a possible buy coming up. So maybe some weakness from the AUD. Check this out. But I would only in, be interested in buying this when price action tests this level here of 193.060. So I'm going to wait. I think there will be some GBP bulls coming to the markets. Excuse me, yawning. Uh, we have a channel, let's say, or whatever this could be. So down here would be the entry level, down there. We'll wait for price action to come there, and we'll see where it goes. All in all, AUD USD with a possible head and shoulders, but I don't know. There could be a fake move because of this trend line here and the support here. So if this breaks, I think we can go up. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I went over the possible trades. There are GBP, AUD, possible buy, AUD, NZD, possible sell. Um, main trade is AUD can't buy for now. And uh, I want to go over a really quick educational tip here for you guys. Just a quick little educational lesson. Um, by the way, I'm expecting this one to go up again. So we had a buy from this contraction, a sell from this black contraction, by the way, which led right to this resistance level with a bearish candle. But I was asleep when this happened, unfortunately. Um, so it's looking interesting, but I think there should be a channel and price action should find support around here and go up. And as soon as this black trend line breaks, then we should continue going up to the upside and maybe reach this 120% or the 61 of the contraction. We'll talk about this next time. 
Uh, for now, uh, I want to go over a very important educational tip for this session. What you want to be doing as a trader, just like a gardener, is pull the weeds and water your flowers. What that means is the weeds represent the losses and the flowers represent the profits and the process of doing um, following your system and following your risk management and everything else. So pull those weeds, remove the losses quickly, get out of them as quick as possible. And as number two, focus on removing your weaknesses. So if your weakness is, let's say, over trading, look for solutions to create, um, to, to remove that problem. So pull those weeds out of the way or out of your garden of trading, let's say, um, and water the flowers. The solution would be whatever that may be for you. For me, over trading, I read a book, I write a blog, I do some coaching with my community. There's a lot of things that I do to remove those flaws. Uh, and that's me watering the flowers. Just remember, one day that you don't water those flowers could be the day you lose everything. So make sure you cut your losses, ride your winners by being proactive to the charts, following your system, following your action plan, following your tactics, and just being a professional trader and do what a professional trader does, if you get what I'm saying. Um, that's all I've got for you in this London session. I'm going to be really busy with my community, um, but if you're watching this on our blog or on YouTube, make sure you give us a try. We've got a 24-hour free trial, which could really change your trading forever because we are really active and provide a lot of very specific and lucrative information. That's all I got for you for now. Happy Wednesday and have a great day.